It was a pivotal night for President Joe Biden as he held his first solo news conference in eight months. During the hour-long session, the president was defiant at times, but gave no indication he's going to give up running. CBS Philadelphia Siafa Lewis is going to take you through the key parts of the president's speech and his answers to reporters. Siafa. Yuki and Jessica, the president showcased his grasp and command of foreign policy, took shots at former President Trump, explained why he's staying in the race, and he started it all with a gaffe, as he's long been prone to do. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president. So I think she's not qualified to be president. Biden was answering a question about Vice President Kamala Harris's readiness to be president. From there, he answered a litany of questions about foreign policy with the depth and breadth of understanding that would have been impressive for a 41-year-old, let alone an 81-year-old whose mental acuity has been questioned. He addressed the scourge of gun violence across the country. More children are killed by a bullet than any other cause of death. The United States of America, what the hell are we doing? He explained what was meant by his staff saying his day would end at 8 p.m. Instead of my every day starting at 7 and going to bed at midnight, it'd be smarter for me to pace myself a little more. And I said, for example, the 8, 7, 6 stuff, instead of starting a fundraiser at 9 o'clock, start at 8 o'clock. People get to go home by 10 o'clock. He used that opening to take a shot at former President Trump's schedule. My schedule has been full bore. I've done, where's, and where's Trump been? Riding around in his golf cart, filling out his scorecard before he hits the ball? I mean, look, he's done virtually nothing. He also questioned the validity of polling four months prior to Election Day. Polls are the basis of most of the fears of the elected Democrats who have called for Biden not to run for re-election. How accurate does anybody think the polls are these days? And he had this to say about age. The only thing age does is help you with, creates a little bit of wisdom if you pay attention. Now, since Biden broached the topic of polls on this day in 2020, Biden held a nine point lead over then President Trump in an aggregate of all major polls. In 2016, Hillary Clinton led Trump by four and a half points on this day. And in 2012, President Obama led Mitt Romney by one point nine points.